I am intrigued and confused. Hi, my name is Lucas Ridley. I'm a professional animator for the last 10 years working on stuff like The Last of Us Part 2, Aladdin, Avengers, Ready Player One, Transformers, and one of the reasons I got into animation was because of Pixar and growing up on their movies like Toy Story. So I haven't watched this new Lightyear trailer yet, so let's give it a listen. Go. Go fly. Cabin pressurization is underway. As we prepare for ignition. Flight recorders are on. Five, four, three, two, Love the animation so far. Five, like rarely we you're going into gone. space by yourself, but... A dog. Waiting in the sky. Great music. Ooh. Total Star Wars vibe. Oh. Is that a cat missing? Okay, goosebumps. To infinity. And. Okay. Wow. I don't know where that's going. <laughs> um, yeah, that was uh, a lot of cool stuff that I'm not sure story wise what that means for Buzz. Um, or. Maybe that's not even a buzz. I don't even know. I don't know what's going on there. <laughs> um, but let's let's jump back through it. But this is the one that stood out the most to me. Like from a um, c- cinematography standpoint, like the shallow depth of field and the staging and that now we're introducing this maybe second character. I, I don't remember seeing him in the rest of the trailer or it or that or they. I am intrigued and confused. I thought that was a dog at first. Is that was that not a dog in the beginning, where he was? In, where was that? Right here. No, yeah, that was the cat. Okay, dang, I thought that was a dog. I'm a sucker for dogs. It's a robot cat. Yeah, story wise, it's not clear what's happening, but a lot of epic stuff is going on, and I'm totally game for it. Let's see what was on the board. Hyperspeed you us. Oh. He's not as old as everyone else or something because he was going or he's way older. I guess I mean, he's because he was going through hyperspeed. One minute equals one year. So, okay, he landed somewhere and it's like the future to him kind of. So this isn't his Buzz Lightyear suit. So I guess he gets a new suit is kind of the story. Who's he like having to be stealthy from? These look like robot soldiers. And then he gets the legit Buzz Lightyear. He almost seems like he's going to be stealing it, though. And they introduce this character, which I I can't get rid of these things. How can I get rid of those on YouTube? That's terrible. Yeah, it looks great from a rendering standpoint, lighting, story-wise, I'm confused. The animation looks great. Nothing stood out, obviously, as like no notes. (laughs) Not that I don't have any notes to to Pixar. Come on, who are we kidding? Let's go frame, frame by frame here. Any tentacle type of animation is always super difficult because these rigs are never, they're always difficult. Like no matter how someone rigs it, they're, it's a challenge. But I love the amount of hang time this helmet gets here. It's just hanging out there and then it goes down. Staging wise though, I'm a little confused because it looked like he was right, there's this thing right behind him And then now there's all this space in front of him on the next shot. So I'm assuming it's like cut from a different thing, but it's a tentacle. So either he gets, I don't know, sometimes in trailers they, oh, he's going this way. Maybe that he was standing in front of that car. The staging was a little confusing to me. I thought he was, for some reason, I thought this thing was coming up behind him. 
Did he get dragged down to the right? That's what should have happened. I would have think he would, if they're going to indicate that, maybe have him be dragged right because it looks like he goes straight down. And I would think he's coming at camera now. Now he's going. This is a bit odd staging wise because he's looking left to right. And then now when he goes down, we're looking right to left. So we flipped the 180 rule, if you're familiar with that. So that I think that's what threw me. And it, it, it was hard to connect these shots a little bit. But the animation on the struggle was great with the leg. This is probably my favorite an animation part of the thing, besides the Star Wars kind of cinematography moment. That almost looked like a door for Monsters, Inc. Am I? It has some weird like alien writing on it, though. I don't know. Am I looking too much into that? I'm sure there's all kinds of Easter eggs I'm missing. I feel like they start. she starts bending her finger maybe one frame too soon. See how her finger's starting to bend before they're touching? It made it that contact feel a little soft. Well, that's my reaction to that. It's awesome. Yeah, if you wanna see more reaction videos, shoot me something to react to as a professional animator. Maybe I can give my view on it, looking at it through the lens of an animator's eyes. Thanks for watching and you can find out more and learn from my courses at digitalcreatorschool.com. Thanks for watching.